Okay, I'm gonna try again. What can I say? Technology sometimes beat us, but we gotta beat the technology as well. So let me try again and get, get Daniel. Okay. Yes, Drake. Let's set this so that you can, I can, it's a proper view of you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, what, 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 what? what? Like, uh, you can hear me, yeah? Yeah, man, yes. All right. What I'll have to do is, is set the tone again. I have to bring it back my eye to candy. <laughs> right. I, I I have to bring him back my eye to candy. <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> to to bring him back to bring him back um persons who are back who were there earlier, you know? And and things like that, you know. But uh but anyway, I, I think I, I Yeah. Yeah. What I'm doing, I'm just sharing the video again. Okay. Yeah, I'm sharing the video again just to make sure, um, just to sh for persons who were maybe watching the previous one in the different groups, because that, mm -hmm. and uh, we had a good amount of persons who were waiting earlier, you know. So what's the weather like in Jamaica there in the meantime? Well, it's been sunny all day, perfectly sunny all day. It's, as it gets to evening, it's getting a bit overcast now, you know? Yeah. In, I'm, in, I'm in Manchester, in, in my, um, at the top of Spur Tree. I, I must say that we in the UK were, we had a awesome weather recently, which was much hotter than Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we're definitely much hotter than Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and as well, well one, of the, one of the things we must bear in mind, you know, is that even as man mentions global warming, yeah. he's been arrogant because he has not been keeping record for a thousand years to know the rotations of the planet's temperatures yeah. and even how the water may move and the beach may move every 400 years. It a beach. He has not been yeah. keeping records that long to assume that it must be the way he has seen it in the last hundred years. Yes, yes, yes. So what, what, so what's your take on global warming then? Um, there are several things, you know, but then the fact of the matter is that the underground volcanoes, the underground volcanoes and steam and um, steam, steam holes that send out gas and the volcanoes push out way more gas and, and carbon monoxide than anything that could be really attributed to um, greenhouse emissions from cars and from factories. Yeah. The, the yeah. earth naturally does that way more. <clears throat> yeah. Way, way more. If you look at if you look at the the, the, the places on the earth that release that kind of um gas, there are places under the sea that constantly, constantly doesn't stop. Yes, yes, yes. And 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 one of the things that we are talking about with Jamaica, Jamaica has this level of richness there, isn't it? No, and well, it is more than a richness because we don't even understand it. When one bears in mind that the cockpit country is one of the ten places that modern man our ancient man has not set foot on. Yes. <clears throat> because of the nature of those mountains, they never really walk it, it's never been trod. Um, every day, the scientists are discovering new, um, new plants, 
new insects, animals they thought animals and plants they thought were extinct, animals and plants they have never ever seen before. So to attempt to attempt to, 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 to um to disturb that without clearly understanding it. Mm, mm. It's never been geologically surveyed. You don't know what are the minerals. Yeah. Um, you have never done sonar or laser mapping, um, a satellite mapping to know where the tunnels are and the water channels and how they affect. We see they were building the highway in Jamaica years ago, and the yeah. tractors they did they did a particular excavation in a part in Manchester, and it caused a blockage in water channels that the entire porous got flooded out and was blocked. Yes, I see. I see. So we, we, I, see. I mean, we're intelligent enough. If this is the kind of behavior I would have expected from my great grandfathers who had probably not been schooled um, in geography and geology and, 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 and the procedures and the realities of these existences. But yeah. our generation, having been afforded the benefit of universal adult suffrage and um, the access to edification and clarity, should not make these errors. It, it, it is um, inexcusable. It's a yeah. disrespect to your grandfathers and your fathers' lunch monies. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. Well, listen, wanna, wanna, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming back on because we were on earlier, but we had some difficulty hooking up. And uh, so I do apologize for that. But, you know, technical and technicalities is something else, but we have to just persevere through that. And uh, I, I've, I've got the opportunity of having Mr. Arthur Daniel Barrett, a Kung Pong Maroon, Original live and direct. Am I correct yet? Live and direct. <laughs> uh, Mona yes, Fred. you see, um, my father, my father was a former West Indies cricketer. He was yes. the only person, he was offered to go to South Africa with Lawrence Rowe. He was okay. the only one that did not go and did not take the money for being an honorary wife. So my example started at home. So even though they created the state of Jamaica, crafted a document called a birth certificate and gave my father in yes. full capitals name with Arthur Barrett. I understand that I'm an Ashanti Maroon, so I, I separate myself from that person because I'm a living, breathing, sentient free man. I'm not a person yeah. as per defined by law. I'm Daniel Basra. That's what my mother called me, Dane. That's what my Ashanti Maroon grand for you to their legal name for me. Yeah. Daniel Basra from the Ashanti name Bonsra. Yes. No apologies for being Fantastic. Fired. Yeah. So he's the CEO of the Cannabis Cancer Center, eradicating cancer with cannabis oil extract. Indigenous Development Council of the Maroons. And ladies and gentlemen, one of the reasons why I wanted to get Daniel on is because I was being, um, uh, being swamped by a video, which was, everybody was sending me this video, um, talking about the whole aspect of the Maroon Town. Very passionate, very colorful words, words that I wouldn't use myself, but you cannot stop a man from their passion. That is something I, I will not do. And, uh, but what grabbed me ladies and gentlemen, was this distinction with oil and water and the whole aspect of the mining of the cockpit country. And it is something which is very concerned. So ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate if you just press share, share this video to as much as possible. I believe Mr. Vegas also, I shared it earlier. Whosoever had linked me about that, please share it back to him again and send him the, the new link. And uh, we will share this over because I want to learn about the cockpit country in certain aspects about Maroon and also why is there this massive opposition opposition to mining an area which can bring in resources of financial benefit to the nation or is it that the financial benefit is only for a short time and the legacy will be wiped out over to you Mr. Um, Daniel all right um, yes. here's here's what is facing us yes. the reality is that the cockpit the cockpit mountains are not cockpit country, but it's, yeah. a, it's a cockpit mountain range that runs as a spine across the middle of the island, all yeah. the way from Portland, all the way across to, to, to um, Westmoreland and St. James. Yes. It's there. The geographics dictates that. Um, the prime minister, here's what they did. Um, bearing in mind that the proposal was made to make the cockpit country um, um, a protected area. They yeah. didn't do that. They separated the Coptic country and made Blue Mountain a protected area. And then are now trying to craft a border for the Coptic country, which is splitting the geographical reality and geological reality in two. Because the Coptic mountain is based on white karst limestone and yellow limestone and the forest that protects it. And wherever that stops as a geological and geographical reality is where the true Coptic border is. Is it not something that you have to guess and spell? Form denotes function. Yes, 
Yes. Now, so I, the I, government is attempting to validate its its um its deals with other people. Yes. By okay. crafting a border. When the people said, we said we didn't want them to go into Coptic country. They said they were not going to. Then recreated a boundary that gave them, gave them access to. Which the, the government of Jamaica has no jurisdiction to create a border for the Coptic country. If we remember that the government of Jamaica operates on a document that they say is called a constitution. It was actually an order. It's called the order, Jamaica Order of 1962. The first five words is an order from the Queen. It is a management manual and i dare the chief justice to say it is not so yes. it is a management manual and in that management manual section four says anything that was in place before 1962 stands ergo before 1962 you could not claim the coptic country it was not even mentioned the maroons are not even up to this day in any part of the jamaican school curriculum Yes. It was not in the colonial curriculum. So everything that everybody speaks out about the Maroons is mere narrative because it's not even taught in schools. You couldn't talk to us before 1962. And any attempt to ex exercise jurisprudence or jurisdiction over the Maroons is violation of Section 4 of the introduction of the Constitution. This is, let us take it to international levels. Carry us to the UN. Let us go to the British government. British people, this is in England. Yes. Bring this to the British crown. And ask them, say, here, go and look back at the Jamaica Constitution. It is yes. the word, and the word Constitution is in brackets. It says, Order of Jamaica. Bracket, 1962. Every lawyer knows that any word in bracket is not on the page. It's just there for re referral. So mm -hmm. it is the Jamaica Order, 1962. The, five, the first five words are an order from the Queen. Caribbean and North Atlantic territories is what's at the proper documents. So yes. the Jamaican government needs to stop pretending any authority. Okay. Everybody in Jamaica is registered. The word register comes from the word regis, which means crown. Yeah. The law of church says registration is assigning superior authority to the crown. I'm not a registered entity. Yeah. I want to stop you right there for a second because somehow your, your picture has shown... No, no, we have to discuss status. You know, so the Jama let us put no, into context no, the true status no, of Mr. Andrew Holness and no, the Jamaican no, government. Your picture has shown... In regards to the fact that the crown surrendered to... to at Kinder Tree in, 19, in 1738. Yeah, so the two yeah. status is that they don't have that authority. In law, yeah. and we challenge them, or challenge the Chief Justice to prove that they do, publicly. And we ask Britain, British people watching this, go to the Crown and make this petition for us. Let's get it out into the open. Yeah. Daniel? They have the authority to decide on the Coptic country. Daniel, can you hear me? Can you hear me clearly? Yes, I'm hearing you, brother. OK. Somehow your picture has frozen. It's just one. It is just one picture I'm seeing. Could you there. turn up your volume a little bit more for me, please? Yeah, your picture is frozen. Your your image has frozen. But you can you see me? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, we can hear you. So just stay right there. We, you're, you're you're not moving. You're static. But I think everybody's. Happy I'm static. I'm, I'm right. I'm stationary. You're, yeah, yeah, you're static there. So um, let's stay there. <laughs> because the most important thing is that we can hear you. <laughs> All right. Now, now talking about the cockpit country now and this, because I was listening to a video six years ago, um, not so long ago, and it is, it is the same discussion which they're having now, which they were having then. Is it that right. we... The intricacies, yes. the intricacies are such that um, a Wilmerian friend of mine, um, Adam Hyde, that we were in class at one point, I remember when Adam came from Canada, Adam Hyde runs Jamaica Caves. They came to a compound town with ropes and tanks. And there's a big a place we as Maroons called Big Hole. They yeah. dove down into the cave with their tanks. And for hours we didn't see them. They came up via an underground caveway up in the mountains. They came up, came up all the way down in La Covia in Santa Cruz yeah. from a compound town. So these are not anything you want to play with without first understanding it. It is only responsible, even if you're thinking of doing mining and can find a viable reality up to it. It should first predicate that, yo, you go and check. This is today's technology. This is a sonar and laser, and you can tell where the caves are. It's not difficult. It's not difficult. So, so, so. You understand? So, so, so wh wh why is this? Why is it? Okay, why is this happening then? Why, why is the government just roll a um, I guess it's a short-sightedness, a lack of alacrity, um, 
and possibly if you go out deeper, you probably find um, payoffs and kickbacks. You understand me? So people, people, um, money makes a mere run for some people. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Because if it is true economics we're dealing with, presently in Jamaica, um, a 500 milliliter bottle of water, a half liter of water is $100 retail anywhere on the streets. That makes a liter of water in Jamaica 200 Jamaican dollars. There is no gas station in Jamaica that has gasoline for $200 a liter. So even in Jamaica, the land of wood and water, water is more expensive than gas. So the most, more, way more than bauxite, the, the, um, the Saudi Arabia and Brunei and um, United Arab Emirates, these people's annual water bill would read the country more money than the 30 years of bauxite that is left. Mm -hmm. If we're being objective about accumulation of wealth for the country. I said, like I suggested, I said, it's best if the prime minister said to the Arabs, give us 10, 10 brand new empty oil tankers and build a pipeline from any one of these water sources to the sea coast and fill those tankers with water. And when you fill them, you call the Arabs and say, send me 10 oil tankers. You send and you trade them mm -hmm. at one for one. It will fix the country's problems. Because the Saudi Arabians need oil and they need the water and they have excess of oil. They trade. So it means that since this gasoline that is dictating the cost of our economy and our standard of living, gasoline prices in Jamaica will drop. And everything in Jamaica will drop and Jamaican people would rise. This is simple logic. It's not hard. It's about product. If you understand international geopolitics, the yeah. geography and the economics associated with it, it's, not, it's elementary. Mm. No, that, that, that the is, World Trade Organization says in every country in the world, water is more expensive than gas. You don't necessarily need water be gas because we're going solar, we're going wind, so probably gas might become absolute, obsolete. At no point do we can see in the, for, in, the, in, the, in the future of water becoming obsolete. And then, what you, and then what we're seeing is a situation whereby the key area in Jamaica where water is, um, is generated is generated almost to be wiped out with no foresight of the future when, ga when, when gas and all those things are moving out. That means even if the Prime Minister's sons were to give him great-grandchildren, it would be of no avail because there would be no life here for them to live. Mm. What's, what's the action? What's the action plan with the cockpit country? I mean, I'm sure people are not sitting in their laurels, and I've seen... No, the government of Jamaica is going to have to prove jurisdiction, you know. I am just one silly maroon, and I have some more serious maroons. Even working in the government, who are not saying to him that them is maroon, and you know, so I watch him, you know, and watching the politics that going on, you know, and keeping us aware, you know. You can't stop that. Mm. You understand? So that's the reality. They are going to have to. We are not stopping. 1962 cannot have any authority over 1738 surrender of the crown. So if you were for the crown, let us look at it. The prime minister swears to the queen and the queen sent Gotti to surrender to the Maroons. In war, they say, if they walk, it's because you win. They walk to a compound town. It was not any written treaty. Kodja took a calabash with pimenta liquor. Cut him and I met the blood dripping. And cut Gotti and I met the blood dripping. And the two of them drink that. It was an Ashanti blood oath. You mm -hmm. could not, as Britain, who asked for the peace, come to the first meeting of both parties with a unilateral demanding document and claim that to be a treaty. You'd have had to have had previous meetings with both parties to have ironed out a treaty. Tell them I said to go and trick them dog. They can't trick I. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for coming on. I've got um, Daniel Barrett, a come from, from Maroon Town, Maroon and Development Council of the Maroons. And we're talking about this very key issue regarding the cockpit country with the potential of being mined. Mark Renaissance Cameron, good mate of mine said, Money has already been paid over already for the mining of the place, even though it hasn't even started yet. People are upset. And this is what put the governments in a predicament. They have already mm. collected monies. So here's where we, we demanding it. It will go to international arbitration because we're not box shuffling. You're going to have to show that because the crown at any point, up to 1962, the crown had no authority in the Coptics. It never came there. There was nothing. So how you, the Jamaican state government, Okay. which is in service of the crown, is going to claim it. That means you're, you're attempting to disregard the, the, the treaties of the crown and the surrender at Kinder Tree. Yeah. That's a breach of constitution. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And we, we, we say 
and we are putting at this forum, if the Chief Justice of Jamaica, in his erstwhile wisdom and alacrity of the law and legalities, can come forward and say, am I wrong? I mean, I've been asking every, any lawyer to say, since I post these things, prove to me that it's wrong. Show me where it is not, as I said it is. Show me where the Constitution does not say an order from the Queen. Yeah. The, 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 the illusion of independence, it has to be unfolded. The Queen was the head of state on August 5th, 1962. On August 6, 1962, and up to today, she's still at the head of state. So I need any Jamaican who is on this program and listening to explain to me if the Queen is still the head of state. The Queen is still the head How of state. How is it? Because you are independent. You got a governor general in Jamaica who is there. So, the the so how is it that you're in the, in the, it's an illusion. Yeah. It is politics. It is, it is, it is legal. It is playing a game that you don't understand. Mm. If you want, will notice. Everyone is the part of the Commonwealth. All taxes in Jamaica are levied to the crown. It's not to the government. The government, it, it, the, 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 um, thing, it, uh, the customs is the Queen's warehouse. It's not the Jamaican people's government warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Ladies all and gentlemen. The, the yeah, Covington please. of customs. Yeah. These are all crown assignments. Mm. Um, the registrar, general. Once you get titles like general. So these are crown appointed assignments. The chief justice is the is is the, is listed as the chief records keeper for the crown. The registrar is the deputy records keeper. Stevie Wonder says, if you believe in something you don't understand. Yes. Very superstitious writing on the wall, man. I don't believe in superstition, man. Yeah. I demand alacrity. You will not disrespect my father's lunch money. Yeah. Well, well I, can, I can tell you this, Daniel, is that Jamaicans are surrounding this whole issue and surrounding the cockpit country and they are saying not this time around and i can see a, a concerted effort i'm not seeing anyone who is supporting any move like this what is the action plan what is the, the action plan to stop this now what okay is, the, the yes. most disastrous situation is facing us is that we have an accompanying colonel as the seat where the surrender was taken, who is yeah. in cahoots. We have pictures of him at a Jamaica Labour Party meeting. He doesn't even understand how to separate his, mar his maroon responsibilities from that of his personal Jamaican um, choices. I studied in Cuba. Big up, Mr. Michael Manley and Mr. Ferdi Nita. Yeah. Did I lose it there for a second? You're right. Yeah, you're I studied right. in, okay. so, but it doesn't matter. My family was PNP. My, 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 my uncle, Uncle Colin, the Hellshire, big up the Hellshire people then. You know? In and out, if anything. So, okay. I'm going to get him back, ladies and gentlemen. You stay put right there. Let me just invite him back. Um, one moment here. Da, 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 da. Well, we got a lot. We got a lot anyhow. Still, um, to, to do, to do, to do. Okay, Daniel. Um, what you can do is um, let's do the same thing again. Invite your cell phone. I think I know. I saw that glitch which was happening there earlier. Uh, maybe it is Wi-Fi. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please share this video as well. Um, there's a lot which has been said already, um, as much as possible. Okay, there he's back again, back on the track, Jack. Yep. Okay. Um, GLP and the PNP do nothing for Jamaica. And this, and this people, nothing leave for local to enjoy now. They want to cut the flow of water. You know, uh, there, there's always this saying that when you vote out the government, you get the government in. You, Vote out the JLP, you get the PNP. Vote out the PNP, you get the JLP. So the question is that this thing has got to rise above politics. Is it that is a JLP thing, or is it was also initiated by the PNP? I mean, governments they, they juggle around. It's like one big pot, if anything. Uh, so one one is it one to say this is a this is a JLP thing, or is it a a, a successive government thing? What do we say? Let me see if I can get Mister. Mr. Daniel back, and while at the same time I look at some comments from persons, uh, 
I sent you the invite and uh, you should be coming in anytime. Don't worry. The guest declined the live by the indication. Let me send it back to my brethren. Okay, let's see if we can get him back. It's right on top. That's what I'm saying. The world parliament is the government. Both sides is the same. No better hearing, no better barrel. Um, let me hear your views and your comment. You can write in. Um, JLP and PNP do nothing for Jamaica and its people. Nothing leave for the local people to enjoy. Now they want to cut the flow of water. Some people are even saying they want to actually even cut the flow of air. Maybe after a while, um, the air will have to go. Sheldon Davis, but if they both have to go, who is going to be them? Somebody else is going to come in again. Is there a third party? Is there a fourth party? Or is this whereby the, the, the people need to rise up? Rise up in a sense, one party. People, Christopher Stewart's a one party. People need to rise up in, in a way to say collectively, you know, collectively, collectively and speak with one voice. Collectively and speak with one voice, you know. I'm here in the UK, but I'm actually giving support to, to Jamaicans back home on this issue. Oh, and, brother, back with you. Yes, yes, Virgin. And now you're, now you're moving. <laughs> right. A, a few persons have been sending some comments saying that uh, GLP, PNP, I want to ask this question. It was in the pipeline by the previous administration, the PNP or the GLP, um, I think he went again. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it. Uh, cannot mess with water, no way. Definitely, we cannot mess with water. We don't want to mess with water. Water is a, a, a very, 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 very commodity which we don't want to mess with. You know? Uh, thank you very much. Somebody just sent me a message there. I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> uh, that is, you know. Yeah, yeah. Can I mess with water? No way. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? What do you believe is the answer? Um, as as the government is a, is a, is the government of Andrew Holness is hearing is hearing what the people are saying, right? Or is it just roller steaming through? through? Is it what Mark said and what um, Daniel said that the money has been paid over? Should there be a question be put to the prime minister? Or, you know, I was bringing this point. I was bringing this point, Daniel, um, that is it successive governments? Can it be put at the feet of any government or successive government? PNP was in jail, he was in jail, he was in jail. I'm hearing it, but you're breaking up. Yeah. Is it with successive governments responsible? Successive Right. The thing is, it's, it's been a, that's not the issue. Successive governments have done their errors. The problem is we're dealing with the no. And yeah. I, like I said, even though I may have, I have followed with both PNP and JLP, serious affiliations, it yeah. will not remove or throw out my objectivity towards the, the, the true, the reality of forgetting even Maroons, nation responsibility to Jamaica. We destroy yeah. the cockpit, Jamaica as an entire island yes. is in peril. And that must take precedence over anything else. Yes. You understand? So we, the problem is that the biggest stance against the, against the prime minister and the government would have been coming from the point of the indigenous um, Ashanti Maroons and from the point of the Akompong colonel. Yes. Right? But what we see is that the colonel who would have defended it is the mm -hmm. Akompong colonel who is now demonstrated straight affiliation to the JLP, he goes to their party meetings in green. You understand me? So he has voided his, his responsibility to the Maroons and to the people of Jamaica for that of a partisan mindset. And this is where the problem what is. What is he doing? Selling out. Because this What's is where the, the true stance has to come yeah. from. The, the, the government attempting to define a border for the Coptic without inviting any of the, 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 the several Maroon communities that share the Coptic is clear violation of the United Nations Charter for the Rights of Indigenous People. Section 19 says the government states must involve and invite indigenous people to the discussion before they do anything that will have passed any legislation that will affect our livelihood. Go and check on a Mises on Jamaica as a signatory. We can show several breaches of international treaties in the government attempting to do this. This is not based on anger. This is based, 
This is based on redemption and righteousness and understanding that this is a violation, not just of me, but you're trying to trick the whole dream three million Jamaican as if you have an authority which you don't have, which will put all of us in peril. If he was tricking us to make all of us live life better, I would have shut up. But it's something that you are trying to trick my people that we're not going to benefit them. So we, so we, I can't we speak, be party to that. Yeah, from your from your perspective, who is speaking up then for the side of the the maroons and this particular issue? Even though you said one of the key maroon persons is involved. Okay, we give. We, we're big enough, we're big enough um, what we have seen in our reality. The young people in all the communities, the young people in all the maroon communities are where the future lies. All of them get access to free education or whatever their mother and father pay. And they understand it. They're technologically savvy. They communicate. They can, they, they can check dictionaries if they don't understand the word. And they get clarity. You understand? You can't slip nothing past them. Um, we're going to give big up to Miss um, Jackie Bins and the Coptic Warriors group that have gathered people around a central understanding. Yes. You understand that we see a march was put on, but there is no official, because this is something that, um, as a matter of a point of law, has to be taken to a forum. The government of Jamaica cannot go and stand with me alone in any legal tribunal or any international forum and present anything to prove that it has the right to make any decision on the Coptic country. Yeah. It's almost like... Every time my ancestors as Maroons, every time we try to have a discussion about the Maroon rights and authority, they say, oh, we have this doing. We can't do that now. They have always skirted the argument with Maroons. Right, right. You understand me? So this is where it is. And then outside of the Maroons, you cannot do that to the people of Jamaica that live in the Coptic country. It's just, it's just wrong. Uh -huh. You have a vibe. Look now, the world is looking about cannabis. The whole world. Jamaica, rich. If we, if we, if we turn Jamaica into a cannabis paradise, I run the yeah. Cannabis Cancer Center. We can't give you the science how cannabis will heal anything. Tell the world, say, come to Jamaica. It's called Cannabis Inclusive Paradise. You, you're sick, you come. When you leave, we'll give you bet. You leave in Jamaica better. Organic food, properly grown, and the best cannabis oil in the world. Yes. It's THC that heals. THC that we produce. THC, CB1 receptors, immune system. CBD coming from hemp, from genetically modified hemp in America and England and Canada. For him to have the, the percentage that your law say in first world countries, it means it's a genetically modified plant. It can't heal nobody. It's central nervous system. It deals with sensations and symptoms. Made Jamaica cannabis mecca. Yes. And, and in the cockpit, the Jamaica problem. Yeah. Sure. And, and, and the cockpit. It doesn't have to be so hard. It does not have to be so hard. Yeah. So, so somebody, somebody just said this a while ago, and I find it um, interesting. I'd like, to hear what, I'd like to hear your views on this. Uh, someone said that, uh, let me see if I can find it. The problem is the Maroons are still dealing with segregation. Stop saying Maroon. Maroon, we are one people. We must unite um, as one. What do you say about that? Is, is there some sort of separation? Okay. It's a key point because here's the reality. Whoever said that, we said big up to them. Because one of the issues is that there, there exists. There exist different maroon communities, and yet still there is no statutory body to deal with the issues and necessities and needs and development of the collective maroon group. You understand? I've been working yeah. with Colonel Colonel Pink of of um, Cushatown, Scott, as as part of what he has crafted called the Indigenous Development Council to deal with that. But there exists nothing. So it creates there is no collective understanding and clarity. The second issue is the lie a narrative told by a post-colonial Jamaica education system. Now, they tell mm -hmm. the people that Maroons called slave. No, that is only, remember now, at no point in the education system of the colonials or in Jamaica is there a chapter in my history class of any school on the Maroons. So only thing people repeat is what was given on the narrative and the so-called treaty. But, yeah. see, this slavery ended between the time the Maroon Treaty and the end of slavery. It was like 94 years. There can be no showing. We, we spent that 94 years up in the mountains we did not, we did, no English treaty could stand because we never read English. Yes. The slaves were on the plantations and the plains. The Maroons was way up in the jungles in the mountains. There was no telephone. So when a slave run away, how they get word to us to tell us to run, come after the hill to catch a slave? How? We were, there was no interface. The slave was told that there's a set of wild people in the bush who will name them. So them don't even go and come amongst me. There was yes. no interface in the 94 years between the Maroon surrender 
the surrender to the Maroons, and the end of abolition of slavery. It's 94 years. Wow. At no point was there any interface. But then, one bears in mind that the people are given a narrative. They also told us that there was, there was a war between the Spain and England for this island. Yet still, there's no records in the... Ask any British man to check his... There's no such records in Spain. There's no such records in England. Jamaica made so much money for England if there was a war for this island. Whoever fought and got this island would have gotten a monument. Jamaica mm -hmm. was first a Spanish island. Yeah. Where did Spain... Spain never went into Africa for slaves. Spain never had an African colony until 1884 at the Berlin Conference when she was given Mauritiana and Morocco. So where did Spain get all the blacks that was in Cuba, Jamaica, and Hispaniola since she never got Africa for slaves? Where she get them? They neglect yeah. to tell you that 1780 to 1490, a set of Africans invaded and ruled Europe. They defeated us at Granada 1490. 1492, Columbus sailed with our knowledge. We are the people that was, farm, that was the former rulers of Spain and Europe. Spain had to put us in Jamaica, Cuba, and Haiti as prison islands to contain our bad selves so she mm -hmm. could deal with Latin America. Mm -hmm. It's clear we must be the so-called Moors. We are the bad ones. You know, she said Jamaica is put a stamp on the world. She put the royalty in Jamaica. Yeah, the warriors yeah. in Haiti yeah. and the priests. And the yeah. macho. I, the Spanish I, I, embassy can't, this is, that means that the lie they're telling in CSE history is a lie. It has to be corrected. So th Where so did Spain get all the blacks in Spain ever went to Africa? Yeah. How did Spain get Nias and Ashanti to be in Jamaica? The word yeah. maroon comes from the Spanish word cimarron, which means wild and untamed. So Spain must explain then where she got the blacks that she brought to Jamaica. And what happened to 700 years of black men ruling and sexing down Europe and making babies? You have never told us what you did with them. Mm. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? And the question is this, in, in regards to the saving of the cockpit country, and when I say saving, this is on the basis that they are on a quest to mine it, yeah? And to destroy it, as far as I'm concerned. Do you believe that there's that, that history which you are just talking about need to be taught for people to Jamaica to that, that is what makes me indomitable, sir. That's what makes me fearless, yeah. that history. Understanding who you are without, without knowledge of self, you're, a, you're like, you're like a, a chimpanzee yeah. trying to live in a bird cage yeah. and, without and then, knowledge of self. Yeah. And then at the same time, are the majority of Jamaicans fully aware of the essence of Maroon? Of course, they are one people as well. And, and, and what it really And the lies that was told to Jamaicans about Maroon. Jamaican people have to forget that lie. We're asking is never, Maroon's never caught any slaves. That's a lie that they've noticed that you have no class in the school system that talks about the Maroons. There's not a subject, there's not a chapter in the history class. It's just a narrative that's given to keep us separated. Here's one of the history forgotten. The only place they got to hear trimmed and shaved was on the plantation. Every Maroon was had locks. That is why when Rastafari manifested, the crown attacked it so viciously because they thought it was another Maroon war. The only place you got trimmed and shaved was on the plantation, living in this jungle, fighting against these crazy British and killing them for fun. You had no time to trim and shave. Now, Yankee Pong Picky Boo, Maya Matata. We know who we are. We are not believers. Right. So that is dispelling that lie. Mash down that lie then. That this lie that mash the down that lie. Where the, where the Maroons were capturing slaves. We're, look at, we're, look, if you do geography, history without geography is a scam. Mm. History took place on a geographical reality. It did not take place in the air. So it must be taught same time with geography so you get a reality of what took place. So since yeah. the Spanish, since there was a war, for, if, the, if the British came to take, take the island, first thing, how many ships did he leave England with to take Hispaniola? And if he didn't win at Hispaniola, it means ships would have been sunk at sea. How many ships were sunk in Hispaniola and how many he came to Jamaica with to pass Cuba with a naval fleet to come to Jamaica? And where in Jamaica did he land? Where was the battle for Jamaica between Cuba and Spain? Where's not there a monument there? Narratives. Brains overdone every time. It's not sometime. Well, the, 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 big quest, the big question now, I mean, um, that many people are asking as much as possible and which, which we in the overseas, in the diaspora, are willing to assist with the action plan what, what is the all right we're plan? asking fundamentally it has to go to international tribunal so 
if the people in the diaspora in England can help us to contact with human rights lawyers, international human rights lawyers presently in England and contract them to do us to this issue, to table it at the United Nations, to table it before the Crown as a breach of Crown um, orders and put the Jamaican government in check and the Prime Minister at the highest international level because this is international jurisprudence we're dealing with. We can't enter into it. We are maroon, so we cannot enter into their jurisdiction. So we are asked to help us that way. This is where it's at. Jamaica bigger than the bigger than the prime minister and the sixty people in God knows, and who they are Jamaica. Mm. Jamaica. I was the marketing director for the Jamaican brand called Kuya. Big up to Omar, Richie, Richie Pasley, Yeri, the whole of the man them from Kuya. We did what no other says couldn't be done. We created a Jamaican brand. I met Jamaican. Where that? What a queer's bigger telling t shirt is 876, the simplest t shirt. Everybody, everybody in England, we're born in England, we have to call Granny of that and know that you're recorded. This bigger than them, let's take it to them. It's only 60 other them in our parliament, and they're not necessarily the brightest of us. Yeah, that, 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 is, that, is, very, that is very interesting. And, and, and what I want to work out now as much as possible is this the, Has the government of Jamaica said, that they are going to be mining the cockpit country at a specified time, at a specified year. They said by September, there's a mining lease. ML, ML 173, it is my people, cockpit country warriors. Yes, special mining lease. That means when the people um, hit out against the, the, the first uh, um, idea of mining the cockpit, they, they said they weren't going to mine the cockpit, then crafted a border that left out of the cockpit country as they defined it left out the piece of lands that they want to know mine. Right. That name trickery. That's treachery against the lives of the people. Right, right. Without bringing anyone to the board, the government did not bring none of the stakeholders to the meeting and decision of the boundaries. They did it unilaterally. Okay. In breach of section 19 of the United Nations Charter for the Rights of Indigenous People. Any international, go on and check if I lie, me I tell. Yeah. The well, government is in violation. The prime minister signed anything in violation, even to take money already. The okay. people we get money from, sorry, we mm -hmm. can give you some water fighter, we can give you right. something else. You want coca, cannabis is king. Yeah. We can give you ganja for it. And but I, you can't and get bauxite for that money there again. And, and I tell you the reason why I'm asking these questions, because it is only fair that I somehow get hold of someone from the government or someone with a level of responsibility to come onto this show and with the questions to be asked of them as to say, is it a fact? You know, of course it has been established because I've seen a couple of videos. I've seen the demonstrations where they're talking about um, that the government said they're going to talk to them and they're going to talk to them and they're going to trick them. Just like what you're saying. That is what was coming out of the, the discussions online. What I really reaching out to some lawyers or whatever in the UK, um, we're going to try to get back um, Daniel as he got cut off there. But ladies and gentlemen, what I really want to work out and really to find out and for us to be very effective with this is that how we in the diaspora or in Jamaica can assist with this by getting the whole um, understanding, the real clear understanding of what is really happening because it is definitely not something which many people are happy with based on what I'm seeing. Um, I'm not hearing anybody coming out and say, yes, mine the, the cockpit country. Yes, go for it. Yes, get that money. Many people are actually saying this is going to rape our country. This is going to tear down the legacy. This is going to make um, the, 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 it is like in Zimbabwe years ago, they said the bread basket of Africa. The, the cockpit country is deemed to be the, the water hub, the, the, the embryonic form, the, the key oiling mechanism that keep Jamaica going. Recently, I heard that the, the dam in uh, Kingston was run out of water, you know, uh, as well as possible. Now, that, that is very, very, very interesting. So it, it is very important. And, and I'll be following up on this, and I, and I hope persons will be following up on this as well. Someone said in one of the, 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 the comment is that everybody who's on this live need to go and visit the cockpit country. Now, the closest I've been to the cockpit country is um, in Chilani and, um, you know, um, going to York Castle and going to um, family, my father from Chilani originally and my sister's going to Westwood High School and you're passing through Chilani and, 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 and what is always nice is that lush 
uh, tropical feel, that, that nice um, natural nature. And, and we've got to make sure that we preserve that natural nature, so, you know, as, as much as possible for the sake of, for the sake of quick cash, quick cash. We don't want quick cash. Adrian Mullins said, if pens can't save this country, then the swords will. I, for one, am ready to be with my ancestors that fought for my freedom that I know is how we can, as a people, impeach this prime minister, if possible, right? Shinnett Wright said, uh, true. Um, many persons are actually commenting. Um, listen, if I, if I do not get back, um, Daniel, Daniel, you, you did well. A lot of people are talking about this, and I'm glad you came on. And um, if you can come on back and some final word, that is it. I don't want to run on too long because um, as much as possible is after 11 years in the UK. But nevertheless, still, I'm happy to continue as much as possible. Um, let me hear what persons have to say. Chantel Rani said, he is not ranting. He's setting the record straight about the history of the Maroons. Uh, somebody said, I believe he's ranting while I'm here waiting for some practical steps. Um, I personally also don't believe he was ranting. I believe that sometimes there's a passion in somebody that needs to come out. You know, I was listening to somebody today and they said they were trying to call somebody. <laughs> I'm not going to mention their name. They were trying to call somebody and I wanted to cuss them out. You know what I mean? And the person won't answer the phone. And what the person point was that sometimes people need to get cussed out. Mean to say, what is there in your mouth at that moment need to come out in order to be free? And I believe... I, I, I'm listening to um, Daniel, and what I see is a freedom fighter. You see, many years ago, when you had the the heroes, the fighters, the, the those who fought for our rights as human beings, not as as livestock or piece of item or some shackles. Persons fought; they fought with passion. They they weren't dignified, you know. And sometimes dig, being dignified sometimes is what sometimes is the problem. Sometimes you've got to let them flow, you know. Um, I've heard some comments that Daniel said about the prime minister and so like that. And uh, and, and someone even said to me that uh, if you if you invite him on, um, it would make it look as if to say you are actually condoning or supporting what he said. But I said, no way. You cannot stop a man from speaking. Let him speak, you know as much as possible and what i do is try to get but well, what we're trying to do ladies and gentlemen is to get the gem get that information in so we can dissect it because we're all intelligent first and establish the facts and what i want one of the things that i want to establish because i would not have him on here and mark renaissance recently on this particular issue unless i had an agenda and my agenda is for information. My agenda is to establish the facts. My agenda is to see how can we make sure that Jamaica is not raped, right? Okay, I'm in the UK, and okay, many persons here are also from overseas, all over, but we all have this love and this passion for Jamaica, so it is not raped. And sometimes, maybe governments sometimes are short-sighted. Nobody's perfect. And therefore, sometimes maybe, believe it or not, Government sometimes may be waiting on the people to actually put them in check. Maybe they want to get out of something, but their hands are tied in certain way. Maybe, but if the people pull at them, just like what um, um, what's his name um, Boris Johnson is even trying to do. Maybe some are saying with Brexit, what he's trying to do is making sure that he positions himself that he blamed the EU for giving a bad deal. He blamed Parliament and all the MPs for not su supporting a deal. So therefore, you end up with a no deal. And, and maybe, maybe, maybe the government is trying to find a way out, but in order for that way out to be effective, we the people need to actually be very proactive with our action, right? When will be the plan for this mining? How much money was paid for for this mining? What happened after this mining? Where will this mining be? If it is not to be touched, how can it be stopped? Those are some of the questions. And I don't have all the answers, but I'm just throwing these one out. Um, while setting the record straight, we need an actual plan with practical steps. He's dropping knowledge while ranting. Shinnett Wright, definitely not writers of us. True. 
um, look at reading something, we have to keep it that way. The, Ch the China them not care for nature. Water is more important than bauxite. So true, sir. Yeah, open your throat. Facts. Like that link your blood. <laughs> um, he people say, that say I'm ranting are possible that than hypocritical mockers, as in every word parliament, than I do for defense of folly. Um, that is Daniel who is on the live now as well. But you have to get to the point what the step we are going to take. The Lord so facts. In just passionate money, got information that can educate us, but the truth alone will set us free. Stop talking about maroon, maroon, include us. We were we went hard to stop the sale of Goat Island. They had to cancel. That is Vegas. That's Mr. Vegas. I've linked in there. Uh, big talk. We have to. JLP and P Daniel is is on still. Um, that JLP and PNP ministers and politicians behave way worse on political pulpits. But I should pretend to be a cold British man when I address the issues of my people and our Ashanti a century. A century. Um, Kenil, this every single person in Jamaica needs to be in front of Garden House and protesting. Shanky Osua, my apologies, Daniel. I agree you're filled with knowledge. However, I want all the knowledge you have to be weaponized and be effective and proactive. True, I believe that the concept maybe is back is against the wall. The people must be active and unite. Love that you don't care blood. Right? Alicia Cohen also said it. The back may be against the wall. Sometimes government want us to save them right because just like with brexit what the government can say to the eu is that your deal is dead because three times it went to parliament and three times they kick it out what's the sense of bringing back a deal which you say is the only deal when eu said that for those who are following brexit i'm just linking that the way, when a government back is against the wall there is a possibility that the government back is against the wall i don't know i don't know yeah but what I'm trying to say, we've got to think this thing through practically. And Mark Renaissance and anyone on here as well, um, please keep the link. Daniel, we're going to keep that link. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, uh, um, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. And I do appreciate the fact that you, without knowing me, um, you actually today accepted my friend request and actually came on. That's uh, and, and while we struggled earlier to try to get um, online and to test it, but we persevered, persevered, because I call myself a freedom fighter as well, in a different way. Um, we all have to be freedom fighters. If we don't stand for something, yeah, if we don't stand for something, we'll fall for anything. And we've got to stand for something. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I always say. You vote out the government, you get the government in. Right? If you So the same government that you voted out, they come back in another way. Because it's the government, right? And that's a key thing. So therefore, we have got to, we have got to work at this, ladies and gentlemen, because Jamaica is our yard and Jamaica is our home. And we've got to make sure that we do not um, shut it down. So I want to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming on. Um, Silver and Cidale here. And, uh, and, you know, please like and subscribe to the show and as well. I'm happy and I will be discussing this. Uh, we'll be looking over and we'll be responding to some of these comments as well. You know, but I cannot leave without dropping my original tune straight from Jamaica. I your candy because this is Jamaica night. And enjoy this, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, yes, and there was a first video which I did with a, a, a clip. There are some good clips on YouTube regarding um, the, the cockpit country. Yeah.
water is crucial. Are petitions effective in Jamaica? That's a question which has been asked. I don't like petitions that much, really just it doesn't really work for me. I think they've got to be more strategic. But I, I think it still can work, um, Shankia. I just have to play this for you, my fellow Jamaicans, you know what I mean? Um, this, these are nice, we'll call it nice tunes. As my friends said, don't say tunes, say tunes. Straight out of Jamaica. Straight out of Ochi. I know it's not an Ochi tune, but I'm from Ochiris. And uh, I, I, I like, I like say everything come from Ochi, you know? <laughs> I was reading some of these comments here. Thanks, Tyrone, Christopher, Ian, John Mix. Okay. All right, so have a good night and be blessed and uh, all the best. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye.